Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Friday morning. We are at Friday. I would say at last, but it's actually gone quite fast this week. So we were a Wednesday before I knew it. And then now we're at Friday. So it's gone quite fast this week. Although there has been like some of the days this week. I think I had, I wrote a blog about it on Wednesday. Um, it was just mental. I had so many people to get to so many different places all at the same time I had like four people that needed to be in different places at the same time and another like four people that needed to be in the same place but all at different times and I just normally I'm quite good at working out logistics you know part of having a large family is that you are constantly working out logistics of who needs to be where what time do they need to be there um who needs picking up from whatever just so that you can make sure that everybody's getting to their to their clubs to their school to all the things that work whatever to where they need to be college um and that you're kind of everybody's fitting in and nobody's missing out basically um but wednesday normally i can i can manage to work around it wednesday i just couldn't i couldn't do it no matter what um no matter what i kind of um put in place there was something that hindered it so i think most people got to the most of the places they need to be um i had to kind of prioritize importance of things but most of course everything's important i don't mean it like that but you know it's it's just difficult sometimes i don't know what suddenly happened to the light maybe the sun's just come across um so anyway most people got to where they needed to be at the time they needed to be there um a few people were late for things but i'm pretty sure that most people got to everything i did drive around for quite a few hours just dropping people off places and picking people up but that's just part of everything you do become like a taxi especially when you have teenagers anybody that knows has teenagers knows that you are basically just a taxi service um so yeah that was wednesday yesterday I don't even know what happened just today. Oh, I had to go around and do some jobs, changing addresses at the doctors, things like that. Um, and just potted about, really, doing bits and bobs. And we had dancing in the evening. Did a bit of shopping. Just kind of picked up a couple of bits. I did actually get some stuff. Um, I was chatting in a vlog the other day about how Flo needs some sort of more winter things. Um, but she's not actually gone up sizes yet. And I don't think she's going to go up sizes. So I wanted to pick up some bits uh, if I saw them in like some of the supermarkets just to do her through until she uh, goes up a size so I did pick up some stuff in Asda last night which I will show you what I got um, I mean there's loads of stuff I could have bought but it's, I don't want to buy too much because she is going to go up a size you know probably within the next six months she's just so stinky bless her and even when you look at the 12 to 18 month stuff it looks massive especially in the leg it just looks huge um and that's the problem she has is her legs are really really tiny but Liv is really tiny as well and she was always the same when she was little she was really tiny and it was always the legs that were always too long and still are too long she's olivia struggles with that now whenever she buys anything um leg length it has to be in petite and of course if you have any differences in clothing then you have to normally pay quite a lot more money if you've got like petite next isn't too bad for petite stuff actually there's normally the same sort of price but you know you go to other places and she, sometimes she just wants like, something just normal off the shelf and quite often it won't fit her because it's too long in the leg um she has managed to find some things actually she and do do some of their things in petite which normally are a good length on her but it's just difficult just getting stuff you know quite often that she wants some like flared trousers and she couldn't really get any that fitted her in her length i've always had the same problem because i have short legs too none of us are very tall um but flow is the same so you know top wise things fit her okay um although a little bit big but bottom wise it's just massively long and if she 18 to 24 months stuff is just huge it's never gonna fit her for like another six months anyway i've got some stuff which i'll show you when i get back see so, yeah, i've just dropped the kids off at school I'm going to go back home and I'm not sure what jobs I've got to do today. I think I might try and sort out some stuff in our bedroom, actually. Um, the girls have got dancing this afternoon again. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just go home and crack on. <laughs> okay, so on one of my vlogs last week, I can't remember which day, Oh, which vlog i was saying about how i was going to i didn't like the stairs area 
and then the landing area and how I was going to move it all around. Well, we did that this week. So, um, although it needs hoovering again, I hoover like all the time. But having lots of girls with long hair, you can imagine, it's going on with my hair. Um, it's just constant. I've got one of those carpet scraper things as well, which I'm constantly using. But obviously the cat's got fur, which just leaves in clumps at the moment because he's just molting. And girls' hair everywhere. I've literally just hoovered over there and I can guarantee it'll look like it again. Anyway, so what we have done, I will show you. So the bookcase is now here on the middle landing. So you've got these stairs here and then these stairs here. So the bookcase is now here on the middle landing. That's just stuff that's waiting to be put away. Um, and it's actually quite a nice little spot because Flo and Joseph like to come up. Obviously we've got stair gates, but they like to come up and sit with me or one of the girls. And just, it's a nice little spot here and here to sit right below the window. So it's nice and, and bright. So yeah, that's moved to there. Yeah, so it's quite a nice little spot, somewhere different than sitting in the lounge or the dining room to just come and sit. Obviously, I'm not going to leave them set up here on their own. Well, Joseph's fine, but Flo, no. Um, but it's quite nice to just to sit with them and have a look at some books. Flo likes to do that. She likes to sit on the bottom step and look at her books. So yeah, so up here is now where the hoover lives and the dressing up stuff is. Um, it is a bit tight along here and we are planning, we are planning, I think I was talking about how I was thinking, we were thinking about putting the clothes out on rails because we've got a couple of pink clothes rails from when we moved house and we weren't sure if it would fit and it might be too much so we were keeping it indoors. It actually doesn't take up any more space than the drawers um, but somehow because they're like open rails it doesn't look quite as um, in your face as all the drawers do so I'm going to get some kiddies hangers and we're going to hang up um, not all of the clothes but some of the clothes and then just have boxes at the bottom for all the other bits and pieces because they've got jewellery in there they've got um, a Christmas there's Christmas hats there's Christmas stuff there's Halloween costumes there's all sorts of dressing up stuff so yeah we're going to um, we're going to hang up we've got two of the clothes rails um, these ones got two of these and they fit quite nicely in uh in that space so that's the plan um i've just realized i've left some washing somewhere that i haven't put out yeah i put my washing on the line um but because i had so much i've run out of pegs and space so i've had to put some of it inside we've got beautiful sunshine here today see out the window we can't because it's so sunny and apparently it's supposed to be sunny for like the next the next week um and quite warm as well because it's been quite cold suddenly took a bit of a turn and went quite cold and now we're having having some warmth again as we come into autumn which is hello did you want to come and say hi yeah what have you got show the stars what have you got on your arm maybe you're giving you tattoos or have you been eating strawberries Come show me. flo has got tattoos. Come show me. Show me your arm. Show me your toadstool. What's this one? That's the washing. Come here. No. Nope. Nope. She's not going to show me. Are you going to show mommy your stars? Stars. Stars. Let's see. See stars. <gasps> St wow. It's so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Flo's got a habit of putting things down the toilet at the moment. And the bin. And the bin. No, Florence. Anything she finds, she thinks needs to be in the bin or down the toilet. <laughs> Monkey. Um, yeah, she's, so we've lost quite a lot of dummies because I keep checking to check that she hasn't thrown anything out. But she's she's a little demon, so she's into everything. Um so Eva was doing the recycling last night and she found six socks and two bibs in the recycling bin. Um, 
that she popped in there because we've got a recycling a mini recycling bin in the kitchen which we put the stuff in day to day and then Eva puts it out in the big bins in the evening so yeah Flo likes to put stuff in there she likes to put she put stuff down the toilet this morning which had to be fished out which is always fun um in the morning she likes to put things in things bless her so yeah that's that's uh that's the plan on the landing things i feel like things are properly coming together now um so this weekend we've got to sort the shed out um ben's got another tip run to do um i think i need to there's some bits i need to do in noah's room this weekend to help him sort the rest of that out his room is kind of nearly sorted uh some stuff in here i want to do this weekend we've got some moving around but i feel like we're it's sort of coming together a lot better now everyone's starting to feel more at home everyone's starting to it's really weird when you move house especially when you've lived somewhere for so long you just feel really uneasy because nothing feels right nothing feels homely nothing feels kind of as it should but i think everyone's starting to feel a bit more uh at home now which is good um it's hard isn't it when when you move and especially like you're battling your own emotions and how you feel yourself and you're also trying to deal with you know knowing that the kids feel like that as well especially like the older ones the young ones are more adaptable but the older ones obviously have grown up in mostly in that house so yeah it's been a, a challenge and we've been here a month now four weeks we've been here on wednesday um and I finally feel like we're starting to find our feet, which is good. And the sunshine helps and getting my washing out on the line helps and things like that. Because it doesn't matter how much washing I do, I've still got two full washing bins. doesn't matter how much I do. But yeah, we're starting to, to get there. I mean, obviously we're not on the, the, the decorating scale yet and there's still furniture to be built. But, you know, if I started giving myself a hard time about not getting everything done quick enough and... This should be done and that should be done but you know at the end of the day there's life to be done as well and all the other things that need doing and appointments and and all those normal day-to-day -day things that you need to do shopping and school runs and so at the moment if i can just get like one thing done a day like today i've sorted out some more shoes under the bed and uh just just one thing done whether it be big or small some other stuff shucked in there as well like are still changing addresses and all those sorts of admin things as i call them then i'm taking that as a win really to be honest but yeah i'm quite happy with this area um down here it's a nice little light sunny area i like it i think we might get a bean bag to put there yeah i'm gonna go and do some lunch because we have to go out after lunch because i need to go to home bargains um and i need to go to being cute. Oh, actually, I'll be back in a minute to show you the clothes that I got yesterday. Okay, so very quickly before we've got to go out, I'll show you what we got <clears throat> last night in Asda. So, I got this in sale uh, because it's it's actually is it dark grey? I think it's dark grey, like a charcoal colour. I got it for seven pounds in the sale six pounds in the sale um but i thought because it's quite dark i can mix it with tights because a lot of her dresses that she got she's got at the moment are quite summery so they look a bit weird with tights um some of them are okay but i got that because i thought i can put a little jumper or a long sleeve bodysuit underneath it um and use that for a while i also got this little jumper which was five pounds. Like, look, I mean, it's, they're supposed to be oversized, but it's going to be massive on her anyway. These are 12 to 18 months. Um, I also got her this little jumper, which was a fiver as well. Little flowers on the back. Um, and some leggings to match. They've got these legging sets to match. So they've got like this blue and then a navy blue. They've got little frilled bottoms. And then like a beigey, flowery kind of ones because she needs some more leggings because, I mean, she can go through sort of two or three changes of clothes in a day because she just gets herself minking all the time. So, yeah, more. I mean, they look huge. They're 12 to 18 months. They'll drown her little legs, bless her. 
that's quite the thing i quite like about asda stuff um is and next to it as well they quite often they'll you know have leggings that match the tops and all those sorts of things it's quite nice um and then i got this little set which is cute it's a little daisy duck set little top and leggings how cute are they uh it was eight pound fifty those ones that's cute and i got this little set which is a little stitch set which again looks humongous little joggers and a little jumper which is cute so i had i think i had about 15 pounds worth of rewards as well so i ended up paying about 30 pound for it all which is quite good so yeah those are the bits that i got for flow yesterday i need to try and get some dungarees as well because um she's definitely a dungarees kind of girl she's got lots of jumpsuits but they're like the summery ones which i can and if i get some long sleeved i think i don't have any long sleeve bodysuits i need to get some long sleeve bodysuits so she can kind of wear her summery stuff into the winter as well um because obviously it will have her arms covered but yeah some some stuff just doesn't quite work in the winter do you know what i mean some some of it is fine just put a long sleeve bodysuit underneath her jumpsuits will be fine um but some of the things are really summery so will look a bit weird with tights and a bodysuit so i'm going to try and get some dungarees and some long sleeve bodysuits um and that should be her set for a while until she grows into the next size <laughs> Okay, so we've done lunch and uh, Flo's just getting into outfit number two of the day. And then we're going to nip out. We've got to go to the shops, got to nip to home bargains. I need to get some stuff. My spray bottle for the kitchen is broken again. So I need to get some stuff from home bargains. Um, and I want to get some paints from b and I was talking to you all the other day about getting these shelves from Ikea and painting them um, for the younger ones to have in their little bed spaces and i'm going to get some tester pots from b and q uh i don't think they do them in b and m the little ones i couldn't see them anyway maybe i'm just looking in the right place but i know b and q do them i also need to get another lock for the bathroom door because the handle keeps falling off and obviously we need a lock on the bathroom door um so i'm going to nip in there as well before the girls go to the dance class um ben's doing school run for me or not for me ben's just doing the school run because he he picks up in the afternoon, I drop off in the morning. It works out quite well because he's in Lottie anyway working and he finishes same time as they fall, just before they finish school. He starts work at like six in the morning. Um, so yeah, it works out, works out quite well really. So yeah, that's us, we're going off. We're gonna get everybody loaded into the car and go off to town. Flo, where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Florence. <laughs> Okay, so if you hadn't guessed it, we just popped into Pets at Home because we had to go to B&Q and Pets at Home is next door and we had like 10 minutes to kill so we brought Flo in to look at the fishes. 
Oh, she quite likes the fishes. Look, your finger float. Look, they're all looking at you. No, no banging, rainbow. no banging. Rainbow. rainbow, rainbow. Gentle, gentle. Be gentle. Gentle. No, no banging. banging. Wave to them, say hi. Say hi, I'm fishies. Say hi, Sam. Say hi to the fishies. Yeah. Oh, hi, fishies. Fishy, what do you think, Jojo? Good. Are they good fishes? Yeah. 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 Look at these fishes. You see the guinea pigs? One guinea pig in there. Yeah. There's there is guinea pig. Yeah. There's two guinea pigs in the other one. One. There's more than two. There. One there. One there. One there. One there. In that one as well. And in this one. Okay. Flo was so cute. Bless her. In the um, in pets at home, she's so cute looking at all the little animals. Um. Anyway, I was going to have a chat with you. Uh, when the girls were in dancing, but the two little ones fell asleep in the car, so I was trying not to make too much noise. And then when they finished dancing, we had to pop to Asda to get some dinner for tonight. Um, to get some potatoes for jacket potatoes and some salad. Um, so yeah, I managed to get some bits and pieces in home bargains. I was kind of just, I needed some Astonish. I used the Astonish bathroom cleaner because it's the best one. I used to use Flash, but um, I really like the Astonish one. Um, but you can't seem to get it anywhere but Home Bargains. It's only like a pound, but it's really, really good stuff. I really like it. Actually, most of the Astonish range, I find, although it's quite, it's cheap, but it's really good stuff. And I've used a lot of cleaning products over the years. So I had to get some of that. And I also had to get some elbow grease. Love elbow grease. Um, that has gone up in price actually, I think, since a lot more people have started using it, but it's brilliant. I use it as stain remover, um, cleaning, degreaser, everything. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought some, I wanted some stuff because we've now got an electric oven, whereas before we had gas, we've got an electric oven. Um, I don't know what you call them. Are they convection? I'm not sure. I don't know what you call the, the tops that are, anyway, we've not had an electric oven for a long, long time. Um, and it started to get marked on the top. And I was looking online and somebody said to use Hub Bright, but I couldn't find any, but I've got Astonish Hub Cleaner because it's the same sort of stuff. So I'm going to give, I know Barkeeper's Friend is normally quite good as well for that sort of stuff. So it was a toss up between getting Barkeeper's Friend or um, the Hub Cleaner. So I got the Hub Cleaner, it was like 89p, again from Astonish. Thought I'd give that a go. Um, so hopefully that will work. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh, toothbrushes. I bought some extra flannels or washcloths because we need some some spare ones. Uh, and oh, I did buy some Halloween outfits as a, as a surprise. Because you know what happens. Halloween and Christmas stuff comes into the shop now. And then when you go to buy it later on, when it's closer to Halloween and Christmas, it's gone. So I bought some Halloween outfits for the younger three. And it also dawned on me while we were in there that it used to be... Um, obviously trick-or-treating and all that sort of stuff I used to be with the older ones so I'd be finding costumes for like the older ones right the way down to the little ones um obviously there weren't as many then so it wouldn't have been like Agnes Joseph and Flo it probably would have been down to the twins when the older ones were still dressing up maybe Agnes um but it suddenly dawned on me this year that obviously obviously Lizzie, Livy, Charlotte, Isabel, Noah, Eva um none of them are going to dress up trick or treating this year um they'll go out with the little ones but they, and they'll make it nice for them fun for the little ones but they wouldn't be dressing up themselves um and i don't toby doesn't really like dressing up some years he has some years he won't but so it's only really going to be the younger ones it would just be um it would just be leah erin agnes joseph maybe and florence so florence will probably still fit in the costume she had last year but I did find some, they've got some loads of costumes in Home Bargains at the moment. So I did get them a couple of Wednesday Adam, all three of them Wednesday Adam costumes because they were cute. And I thought they'll like them. Um, and that's some, some more costumes to add to the, add to the, add to the box. So yeah, I did, bought some of those. I'm going to buy some more Halloween bits when it comes a bit closer to the time. Um, although I'll have to be quite quick because they will sell out. 
also got some paints the paints are for the shelves which i will do in another vlog uh i'm just literally i've just stopped now i've just dropped uh no into lossy and been to the pharmacy to pick some stuff up um and it's how pretty you can't really see actually because you can see it through my back window it's beautiful here today it's really really sunny it's really warm it's like summer it's like the summer we never had um typical really september comes and summer appears so yeah i thought i'd just stop quickly and um and kind of round up my day really um so i've left i've left ben at home and everybody having dinner and then i'm gonna go back and it was friday night so i don't really know what we've got planned for tonight nothing in particular um olivia's got some college stuff to do that i'm gonna give her a hand with and i will probably at some point fall asleep i expect watch some rubbish telly um chill out a little teeny bit maybe and then we've got a busy weekend planned we've got loads of stuff um coming up over the weekend so yeah busy busy all the time so anyway um i'm gonna wrap it up uh i hope you've enjoyed the vlog just a bit of a, a fill in kind of fill in fill you in on the week update that's the word i'm looking for update um my friday update maybe i should do one every friday a friday update of what's been going on during the week so our weeks are just mental sometimes um especially wednesday thursday friday with dance lessons and everything else they're just insane but anyway it's all worth it in the end so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the vlog don't forget to drop us a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed there's some jets just about to go over the head now um and we will see you in the next video bye